We're, we're just gonna we're gonna start the recording right here. Okay. W welcome everybody. More Pikmin. Force of Hope. <laughs> the finale. I'm Red. You're Trevor. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I am now Trevor. We we soft bodies. <laughs> I like purple now. What? And That's Star my Trek color. slightly more. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, we're we're going back to the Force of Hope for uh, one last time. There's a there's like one thing we have to no two things we have to do here. But then we're then we're all good. I'm shocked you haven't found hope yet. I know she uh she's hiding all the time. She's an elusive vixen, isn't she? <laughs> yes. Pick me, pick me. After the apocalypse, she just became a recluse. She started developing her own language. It's like that movie Nell. It's like it's not good. She's gone a little back out crazy. I don't even know what movie you're talking about, actually. Nell is a classic 1990s movie about a girl who got, um, her family died, and she grew up in the woods by herself, or something. I'm. It's a really esoteric movie that like two people know about, but. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like the kind of thing I would know about, actually. It's just it's it's about like I don't yeah she just has her own language that she developed because she grew up with like just her mom and her sister or something like that and um, then her mom and her sister died so she just kind of you know she's kind of hmm. like I don't even remember any of it other than like just she had her own language and it was called Nell and people found her and they were trying to integrate her into society but it was difficult due to her uh, you know growing up in the woods. <laughs> Yeah, that that would do it. She's like basically a Pikmin. <laughs> you know, I actually uh I recently heard about um this weird experiment that was done. I don't know when it was done, but it was like they took a bunch of children and uh th this is actually probably really bad. They isolated them all together Ooh. and never spoke to them and they tried to determine what people speak naturally that sounds like it sounds like a cool experiment but i hate saying that because it also sounds like an experiment where you're essentially ruining or i don't want to say ruining the lives of children but you're potentially ruining the lives of children <laughs> like it just yeah. doesn't sound it's it, it sounds like a uh uh like you're you're definitely crossing a boundary that uh I wouldn't be comfortable crossing. Yeah, yeah. That being it's... said, I bet the dad is really interesting. Yeah, because that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, I really want to know, but also this is just a tad unethical. Yeah, yeah. Because you're just. I mean, like, did they feed them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they interacted with them, but they never spoke to them. So oh. they, they probably didn't even know that they could speak. Yeah. Which is really interesting. So yeah, it it turns out that um. They developed their own sign language together. Huh. And and that's pretty much it. They never taught each other how to speak. They just yeah. used sign language. So. What happened to the kids eventually? Um, I think eventually they just... Uh, actually, I have no idea. Yeah. I'm sure they released them eventually. <laughs> and all the scientists went to jail. <laughs> <laughs> for, for all I know, that was like... That was probably like a Nazi experiment, and nobody actually got in trouble. Yeah, probably. Because they did some, uh, they did some weird stuff. I'm gonna look that up later and give myself nightmares. <laughs> I I know a good few uh, YouTube videos that will give you nightmares. Ew. Yeah. I I saw this one recently on uh, it wasn't like, it wasn't like mythological creatures. It was just like, like weird creatures. Like that thing back there. What is that? Uh, it's a giant armored spider. Oh, okay. Sorry, back to the mythological creatures, or the weird yeah. creatures, or the whatever. Yeah, just like mysterious creatures, like, um, like, I think one was called, like, the Rake, which is, like, it, it's a weird name, but it, it was, like, um, like, someone was just walking through the forest and, like, recording a video. I think they were, like, drunk, which is why they just felt like recording everything. <laughs> and, um... Basically, they it, it looked like a skinny, naked, homeless guy, except with, like... What the bananas is that? <laughs> I told you it's an armor. It's spider. from Zelda! It's an <laughs> Octorok! Oh, yeah. Maybe. 
I'm sorry. I I, I, I do want to eventually get back to talking about skinny naked, <laughs> naked homeless guys, but right now we need to address that this is a post-apocalyptic world that also has ties to Zelda. Uh, yes. And oh, are they getting cooked on his back? Is he a grill? Uh, basically, I I clogged up his um his ventilation, so he started overheating. So technically, yes. <laughs> yes. So that is. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> what? It's too scary. It's too scary. <laughs> that thing's terrifying. We, ha we haven't even gotten to the part where the uh, the water wraith just destroys everything. Oh, God. Okay, so anyways, back to the rake. Was, did you say rake or wraith? Uh, rake. Okay. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It, it was it's one of those things that it's like okay that could be a human but it looks like oddly slightly off from what a human normally looks like so who knows like what it really is like could be like some mutant creature or whatever <laughs> it's <don't>... deadpool <laughs> <laughs> like it, it was like mildly creepy yeah um until i it, it was a top 15 video so at some point uh it it got to something really creepy yeah Oh, At last, look. my radioactive canopy. It turns out that I can get an awesome tan if I use this. <laughs> radioactive canopy. But yeah, just... um, I, at some point on the list, it was like, um, one of them was like, uh, like goblins or gremlins or something. I don't know. It's like the same thing. Yeah. And, and I was like, okay, this is clearly dumb. No such thing. They showed some really convincing footage and it, kind of scared me a little bit. Yeah. And, like, I, I'm i one of those people that, like, if I see, like, either a scary movie or something scary in a movie, yeah, I just don't care at all because I'm like, it's just a movie. But if it's, like, supposed to be, like, a real thing in real life, that's, that's only, like, slightly creepy. There are some things in real life that are terrifying. Have you ever seen a monkfish? Uh... I think I have. Okay, they're they're the ugliest thing. There's a reason they're at the bottom of the ocean where nobody can see them. Yeah. They they just they ba they basically look like an anglerfish without the doobly doo on top, and without the little light bulb thing. Yeah. And uglier. <laughs> and angler anglerfish are already ugly to begin with, so it's like they are they are just the 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 epitome of um just you look at it and you're like i never want to see one of those again <laughs> yeah the bottom of the ocean has the weirdest creepiest stuff yeah where I, you, you just look at it and you're like why yeah <laughs> it's either beautiful like glows in the dark and is this shimmering beautiful uh jellyfish thing or it's terrifying monstrosity that gives you nightmares it's like it's, it doesn't go middle it just cuts either way <laughs> Yeah. Oh, there's the other guys. I was like, why do I only have 40? Because <laughs> they're having a party <laughs> with the well, dead Octorok. Watch how much this will increase our Pikmin, right? It's 445 right now. Yeah. That's our total Pikmin. So, okay. So, the Pikmin eat the oh, dead ooh, ooh. Enem enemies? Uh, yeah. So, they're also part of Venus Flytrap, or some kind of carnivorous uh, vegetation. Yeah. Veg vegetable. Vegetation. Whoa. Yeah, that guy just came out of nowhere forgot he was there your screen went red my my what weren't oh the screen yeah yeah, yeah that's because Almar got hit oh okay okay yeah. uh, oh, we wreck those guys attacked. wreck them up wreck them up kill them kill them all oh it's also this game's also connected to pac-man <laughs> just just by name alone the little ghosts they're like Ooh. oh yeah for when they die that's that's probably just to show that they died rather than their ghosts. Yeah. But yeah, this this game, it's a good game. The third game is like the best one though. It's, it's so good. What makes it so superior? Um, well, it, it's just a lot more refined. There's more features. There's more stuff to do. It, it's just overall better in every way, especially graphics, because you know it's on the Wii U. Okay. So it's like 1080, I, I think 60 frames per second, but it's it's really cool. It's got um it's got some cool DLC too. So it's like uh you get uh like challenge packs and stuff. Yeah. Where you can do essentially like 
you're looking for specific things and you have to do it in a certain amount of time. Okay. I don't know. The challenges are really fun in that game. This game has like a challenge mode too, but it's like th there's not a lot to do in it. What are you doing to this log? <laughs> um, the Pikmin are breaking up the log and making a bridge. Okay, yeah, because yeah. uh, okay, yeah, I see, I see it now. I was just because it just looks like they're just like just smacking their heads on a log. I'm like that doesn't seem too helpful. Yeah, they like to uh, just smack their heads on like everything. They're really into metal. Yeah. They're just like, oh man, this music's so good. Yeah, they think this music is like hardcore. It's like peaceful and tranquil. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, I found out something. <gasps> what? Turtle shell. It's a Koopa shell. Get the Koopa shell. Why can't you get the Koopa shell? Because they need to build a bridge so they can carry it over. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they can't <laughs> carry it through the water? Uh, I don't think they can. Oh, okay. Which is weird because, you know, they're blue Pikmin, so yeah. they should, but. I think they programmed it so they couldn't. Oh. Turds. Uh, otherwise, the bridge probably wouldn't be here. But it's a turtle shell. It should be able to go in the water. Should be able to ride it in the water like Mario 64. Yeah, like a little boat. Flip it over. Paddle our way across. Paddles. Paddle oh, yeah. Paddle. like Mar That's one of my favorite things in Mario 64 is when you jump on a turtle shell and start riding it around like a skateboard. I, I enjoy that way more than I should. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is a really fun thing to do, even though it's not... Sometimes it's useful. Oh, look. It's... I found... <laughs> the Sagittarius. I found Socrates. Socrates. My son once talked about Socrates. I think he was friends with Planet Plato and Aristotle. I would be right there now with my son. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, one of the non-required parts for your ship. So um, if you don't get this yeah. you can still get a good ending but you don't get the best ending what's it do what's this thing do nothing it's just <laughs> it's shiny <laughs> it's it's just a gift that Olimar's son gave to him and he just wants to keep it i can't imagine what my dad would do if i bought him a giant green green emerald <laughs> like that's four times his size like i don't know what you I, I don't know how he would handle that he he would think it's the best thing ever he... I, th I think he would, but part of him would be like, oh, crap, where am I going to put this? <laughs> that's that's kind of how I feel about s stuff, too. Like I'm like, oh, I can buy this thing, yeah. but I don't have anywhere to put it. Yeah. Whoa, look at the little egg beater. Well, it's not an egg beater. <laughs> it, it looks like an egg beater, actually. Did it just eat it? Yeah, and the ship absorbs everything. <laughs> the I... Socrates was very good for my ship. Yes. It's now recovered 13 of my 30 parts. Yeah. So 16 more, and I should be able to get home. Yeah, we're already about halfway through the game. All right. Yeah, this game, you can beat it in, like, uh, 12, 13 days pretty easily. I would I would love it if you, if you could beat this game, or if there was, like, a Pikmin game that was slightly more post-apocalyptic, where, like, you could end up at a Waffle House, or, like, a... Um, uh, what's it called? Like an IHOP or something like that. That's that's kind of like um, Pikmin 2, because there's just like junk everywhere. I'm pretty sure I, I mentioned it. Like you can get Duracell batteries and just like <laughs> stuff left behind by humanity. Anyways, we got uh, we got everything we needed, so we can just like skip to the end of the day. Sure, go for it. Um, I'm just going to make sure I have all 100 with me. Okay, yeah. All right, guys, time to take a nap. Yeah, that way we can uh, end the episode without, you know, just having a couple minutes of us doing nothing, because that's what that would be if we didn't <laughs> skip to the end. <laughs> Look at him crawling up it's there. It's a show about nothing, kid. All right, and they're floating off into space. That ship still, I would not feel safe. Yeah, Dude. it's <laughs> at least it's halfway complete at this point. And we, uh, we actually unlocked a new area, which Ooh. we'll get to see in... A second. Well, we'll what get is to it, see. The sea of tranquility. No, it's uh, I think it's called the distant spring. Oh, yeah. Seven days since impact. I really have a horrible headache. Withdrawal symptoms have set in. I've started pleading with God for just one, one little thing of Jimmy Wa uh, Johnny Walker, but to no alas. <laughs> Hopefully, at the distant spring, I'll find something. Johnny Walker. What is that? Uh, it's a it's a whiskey. Oh man, look at all the blue Pikmin we have. 
215. I was trying to go with Jim Beam and Johnny Walker, and I became Jimmy Walker. I'm like, that's not right. <laughs> Jimmy Walker. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we unlocked um, the second to last area in the game, which is right up here. Which we won't be going to anytime soon because we still have the forest belly button. Yeah, we have the uh, the belly button area. We got six parts left to get there, so and plenty of lint to clean out. Yeah. Oh man, there's there's so much lint. All right. Gotta, well, gotta pick it. We are neon cheetahs. Take a look. 